All right, my beautiful friends, this is my post-market wrap-up for this Monday, March 18th, 2019. The title here, The Grand Delusion, um, I'm really hoping to put some light on a few things here that 99% of the general population literally has been blinded to. It's the same thing, look here, don't look here. And we're hearing a lot about it on the mainstream media channels, the financial channels, it's being discussed, chat rooms, everywhere. So let's talk about it here. What the heck is Greg about to say? Well, the grand delusion is pretty straightforward. You know what, before I move forward, if you find any of this enlightening or important, please share the video. Okay, so there's all this talk everywhere about socialism. Socialism's coming to America. Capitalism is failing. Look, the bottom line is, it's very simple. Some people are, are continuing to exist in the grand delusion that we already do not have socialism right here in the United States. At the present moment, that's exactly what we have. And I want to cover that and, 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 and maybe explain a few things um, that are probably obvious. But let's cover that here. What do we know is the hallmark of a, a socialist nation? At one point, they run out of other people's money. They have exploding debts and exploding deficits. Well, that's exactly what's happening here already in the United States. Why do you think we have debts and deficits that are off the Richter scale, uh, getting hyperinflated? This is a mechanism, again, um, we're all buried beyond our eyeballs in debt, the hallmark of a socialist nation. That's why the United States is the largest debtor nation in the history of the world. Every single developed nation in the world is is in the same situation. And again, it's, uh, it's something that you look here, don't look here, ignore the debt, don't worry about it, it's all good. But understand, we're starting to see the ramifications of this now. And it's very sad. In no other country in the world, this is the truth, is a newborn baby instantaneously so much in debt, owing so much to the government, than here in the United States. It's a very unfair situation. Now, let me, let me say this with regard to socialism here in the United States. Let, let's talk about some obvious things. We already understand that the farming industry is being subsidized by the government. Who is the government? Of the people, by the people, for the people? It's you. You're subsidizing the farmers. You're subsidizing ethanol. These are the, uh, the obvious ones. We're subsidizing housing. We're subsidizing health care. We're subsidizing the auto industry. Again, these are all the obvious ones. How many of you also know that we are subsidizing the oil industry? And how about big pharma? Yeah, you are also subsidizing those industries. And there's more. So understand, when you hear a YouTube blog, an individual uh, on the TV explaining, oh no, no, we don't have socialism here in the United States. You're looking into the face of either someone that's trying to mislead you or a complete imbecile. <laughs> it's the truth. Um, and I don't, look, we lost this battle a long time ago willingly. We willingly gave this up when we all heard about big, uh, I'm sorry, about the, the farming bill, the 12 billion that President Trump was going to give. Oh, it's only 12 billion. Don't worry about that. But what about all the other industries that are getting billions upon hundreds of billions? You see what they do? Oh, don't worry. It's only a little.
little bit more. Ah, it's fine. Let's just do this. Capitalism works only when industries have to compete and certain aspects of it, for example, GM, is allowed to fail. They correct their mistakes. Otherwise, they go under. Or we socialize everything so we understand. What, what is the biggest aspect of this entire thing that is being subsidized? Well, it's the stock market that's being subsidized by easy money from the Federal Reserve. All the world central banks. Let me tell you this, and I've covered this before. World central banks are buying each other's debt. They're doing this to keep it off balance sheet so you can't see it. Plus, look, if you were to go to the Federal Reserve's website and you look at the numbers, they're all fake. They're all, they could put in whatever they want. So if, if anyone is naive enough to go to the Federal Reserve's website and look at these numbers and say, oh, look, but this, this is true and this is real and that's, you know, they're all fake. Nothing is real. The entire world, the entire civilized world right now, and here in the United States, I think it has, it's having the greatest effect. Why? We're still the largest economy in the world with the, with a central bank that has run amok and has trillions, tens of trillions of dollars lent out to other countries around the world. You know, the missing trillions that some people just can't, can't figure out where it went. Well, it's going to subsidize other countries and other central banks. <laughs> so again, um, you can live in the delusion that this is not a socialist nation or understand that's exactly where you are right now. And it's about to get monumentally worse. Understand, that's the truth. What's going to end up happening here down the pike um, is a massive uh, dollar devaluation. This is why I've been explaining bet against the debt, become your own central bank. Um, negative rates here, which we already have uh, n negative rates by real terms in the United States. People being charged to keep their, their cash, whatever they're allowed to have in these institutions. But that does not mean that the game, because this is a game, is still not going to have extreme winners and extreme losers. It's always the same. Um, and that's really what is being set up. The two-tier society, that's what it is. Open your freaking eyeballs and understand that's where you are. If this is a new day for you, well, you just woke up understanding that here in the United States today, you don't have to wait for the next president to be elected. We already have, I would almost say an extreme form of socialism with all of these industry after industry after industry after industry being subsidized by you. Capitalism is not being allowed to work. So we have socialism. All right. The next step here is going to be fascism, which we're seeing elements of that as well. These radical people, you know, you see them all the time. That's where we're going. So it's very sad, but it's the 100 percent truth. We've already lost. You can't possibly win here. It's unfortunate. And every single one of us has played into it. We've all said, hey, you know, it's only this much. Uh, let's just subsidize this industry too. You know, we don't want to lose jobs. So we better go out and give this industry X amount of dollars. No. That was where we all participated in letting the shift happen. Moving from what we once had, a, a true capitalistic uh, environment, a long time ago, decades ago, and this became the boiling frog where it just changed, you know, while you were sleeping. But now you've woken up. And uh, I, I mean, it's just so obvious to me, and it should be obvious to you too. So step back, get away from, from the delusion that that's not where you are today, and accept where you are. Uh, and look out for yourself. I mean, we're all responsible for each other. That's the truth. But you have to understand that this entire thing 
is designed to squash you like a bug into into the lower tier. Again, we're going back to a two-tier society. But I still think you can choose where you want to be here. The middle class barely exists anymore. It's being systematically wiped out as we make a full transition here. All right, that's what's going on. And it should be very obvious to you uh, that that is occurring. Some of us here are going to make it to the top tier of this two-tier society. Most of us are going to end on the bottom rung. And that's the way this is going, people. So anyway, I don't know what to tell you. I hope this makes sense to you. You can understand where we are in this. And I'll tell you a, a couple of other things before I end this, and it's getting kind of long, but negative rates are already being set up. Like I, I just said a minute ago, I've been talking about this. Um, the, the fact that we're seeing this action in the bond market, the inverted yield curve, is telling us all where we are going. This is the last prosperous bubble here. When this one bursts, all right, that's when we're going to actually see the massive deviation here, the huge wealth transfer from what was once the middle class to the upper tier of society. And all those people right now that believe they are existing in some type of a capitalistic form of government are going to immediately and overnight fall. They would fall right now if the debt bubble were not being suspended, but the plan is to not keep the debt bubble suspended. The plan is to let it burst. The plan is to have rates spike rapidly. This will put uh, put huge amount of pressure on the stock market. Massive sell-off in the bond market. Massive sell-off in the stock market and the cash is just simply going to be transferred from the masses to the very few. Boom, two-tier society, pure socialism. And we're almost there now. So think about what you need to do. Understand where you are. Understand that if you're stuck, most of you are, in that middle class, uh, whatever you want to call it, paradigm, um, again, the, you already are more than likely in the lower class because you have debt beyond your eyeballs. Beyond your eyeballs. We're already seeing de de debt defaults, personal debt, credit card debt. It's all exploding on a micro scale. On a, on a greater scale, the United States, the largest debtor nation in the history of the world. <laughs> debt, the hallmark of socialism. That's where we are. Anyway, very sad. Uh, well, with that said, please share this video if I've said anything that you connect with. And think about what I said. Where do you want to be? You want to be up here? Or have you doomed yourself already to be down here? I think the choice is still yours. I'll see you tomorrow.